Okay, so I will call the meeting of the Conservation Commission to order uh, a special meeting at 6.39 on June the 2nd. And we're here to uh, talk about the Greenway extensions, uh, the description and plan document, uh, and relevant maps. So I think that it's a free and open agenda, no planned agenda beyond having that discussion. Uh, we have the document that I sent out to, I know that you both have, and I want to make sure we, we talk about that document, and Barbara brought the interesting maps. So how, how would you like to start? Um, I would suggest that um, that we look at this document in conjunction with the map and kind of walk through the areas of um, uh, that are identified as okay. potential expansion areas for the Greenway. Okay. Um. I'm going to give you each because I, I didn't suggest that you bring one. The Woodbridge Open Space Plan from the year 2000. And this is just was the document that I found that describes the Woodbridge Green and what it was constituted. Great. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hello. 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 Looks like we now have a quorum. Um, <laughs> probably need the other original document this, if you have one. The one in the email? You want, yes. Right? yes. You want this back because I got I have this this one. I have it. Uh, Kate, what I just gave you was a the the Woodbridge Open Space Plan from the year 2000. Oh, okay. It yeah. has the original description of the Greenway. I've sent that out previously, but I, I think it's a nice reference as we look at the new document. And Should I look at this and then pass it on? or is No, it I gave a copy to... Okay. I, I didn't bring a copy for everybody, but I realized I didn't suggest to bring it. But, you know, if the case somebody you want to take a look back of what was there, because in constructing the document that I've sent out as a draft, I, I did base it upon what was in that open space plan, uh, but thought that it needed updating. Uh, and so if you want to see what I changed, there's pretty much a correspondence in terms of the sections of the Greenway between the two documents. So, so Paul, you want to just step through of the pages not read every word but just step through and yeah i, I think talk, talk, I, about, know, the uh, talk about uh each one perhaps and then look at the map and see the areas that okay. we're looking at and in particular i'm interested in looking at the areas where there's gaps in the greenway and where we could uh have opportunity to expand it okay um i have a couple of questions in the yep. just basic questions definition questions i guess um we talk about the Woodridge Greenway, and I understand two different things. One is kind of the attempt of having a circle of land in within the boundaries or within the kind of the almost the middle of going around inside Woodbridge that has trails, etc., 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 on it. And then we also talk about this Greenway, which is on the perimeter of the town. Um, to connect the town to other towns and their greenways. So I see two simplified, two concentric circles here. And then we talk about open space. And I'm not sure, and then we talk about protected space. And I'm not sure how to intermingle okay. all these. Fair, fair enough. I, I've struggled myself with what is a greenway. And, and I'll. I can tell you where I've come out, try to incorporate some of the things. Uh, and maybe we'll start with the open space and protection. Um, and I, and I, I'm going to be vague in parts because there are 
disagreements about definitions. That, and I don't want to go down those rabbit holes. That rabbit hole tonight. Uh, we're going to protection. Paul and I were talking before the meeting, and we do need to talk about protection. And we will. It's covered in this document, so we can drill down in that some. Uh, but you know, land land that is there seems to be a general recognition that land that, that is set aside for at the most passive recreational use it can be considered open space that land can be public or private and that land can have various levels of protection from completely protected in perpetuity to no protection. So it can have any type of protection and still be open space. And what do you, what is your rough de definition of passive? Uh, walking, hiking. But, but run, not running around a field. I mean, you start to get, you know, there, there's no. There's no baseball fields. There's no. No know. permanent structures. Yeah. Okay. That there's no mechanization. So baseball fields start to fall. Starts to get to the gray area. Because, mm -hmm. you know running on the ground <laughs> and there's nothing permanent the base can be taken away I you, you know so I then and this is where people start to get into disagreements perhaps of what what's truly open space I thought we went through the process I and I may be misremembering that we kind of did some work around defining those in our tools that we had made about a year ago but this Open. is before I joined. Yeah. I, so I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we ever addressed, tried to address a definition, a redefinition of open space. I've been trying to let that exist as it's existed in the town. I think we should be more precise about what we describe as open space because when people hear the term open space, they assume it means protected property. Yeah, absolutely. And in reality, the space that people are referring to as open space is just frankly land that has not yet been developed, yeah. uh, which is completely different than protected space. So I think we need to be very careful with our definitions and as we yeah. progress that we are very precise in what we call it because, you know, listening to a couple of the Board of Selectmen meetings recently, people are quoting things in the POCD mm -hmm. about open space and it's really uh, undeveloped property and in the same same document they're calling open space uh, protected properties too so I think we have to be very careful and, and define the terms so that somebody who reads what we're talking about a year from now or five years from now they understand <coughs> what really protected open space is and what just simply undeveloped property is for instance the <coughs> the Fitzgerald property is owned by the town and it's undeveloped property it is not protected property and I think most most people feel that it's or believe that it's open space and therefore <coughs> it must be protected, but it's just yeah. not. Yeah. And, and Paul, I agree, hundred percent. I think the place to do that, I would suggest the place to do that, is in our con in our, our open space plan. Um, and that is a conservation commission document. We we get to define that. Um, and, and I'll say parenthetically. It, it, that I think we should try to hone closely, if we can, to the Connecticut definitions. Just, just throwing that in because that that enables synergy when we go for grants and so forth. So, and and and, it, and it's well thought out and well established. Now we may have some disagreements with that when we look at that, but but you know, we'll, I think we hash that out. Secondly. Um, you'll notice in what I passed out that that is the open space plan 
and the, the Woodbridge Greenway <coughs> description is part of the open space plan. Now that was true for back when the Woodbridge Greenway was established, but at some point between then and now, the Greenway description fell out of the open space plan. Hmm. So my, my, my sense was that we take the description, and part of what I did in looking you know, to get consensus on was to develop the, the uh, Greenway description and extensions uh, and plan as a document that would stand with the open space plan. It could be separate so people could say, what is it, and here it is, and they don't have to have the whole open space plan. And, and, and it just is a part and parcel, an appendix, if you will. I, it, we talk about how it should exist with the open space plan, but it, um, so I want to get back to the rest of Barbara's question, though, on what's a greenway, right? Any, anything else on, <laughs> we need to drill any more on open space and protection? I think we're, Barbara, mm -mm. you agree no. with that? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. what I've come to understand, I'll use two terms, a greenway and a greenway trail system. A green, greenway, I think the thought of Connecticut behind the greenways are to have connected parcels of open space that form a corridor for wildlife and where possible uh, uh, human use <laughs> you know and it's not always possible um, to have complete connection but wildlife can make those hops uh, perhaps where humans can't the greenway trail system is is the attempt to give the public access to those greenway corridors and let them take advantage of the open space in a passive manner you know, walking, running, snowshoeing. So an example <coughs> of a greenway that humans can't get to, in a sense, is, is the part of the trail that goes really over West Rock or over, over the parkway you were talking about the other day that it's almost, I know it's well, passable, but I, it's almost impassable. Yeah, I mean, maybe I... I, I think some of the, when they talk about connections, they're talking about, there's gonna be, you're gonna to try to put a greenway together and, and you may be missing some open space that connects what you have over here and over here and you just can't get the piece in the middle. Well, the birds don't care about that. They'll fly over the road. <coughs> but mm -hmm. you know, the, the people may have to walk along the road. I think that's where there, you know, there's a thought that you you try to connect as best you can, but for the uh, for wildlife, it, it does provide some continuous quarter. Now, in Woodbridge, there we have an officially designated greenway by the state of Connecticut. When it, it took me a long time to find out what it was. People seem to have lost track of what the Greenway was. So uh, it finally took, I had a right contact the state of Connecticut and they had the original application. They went to Hartford and got me a copy and it, and it turns out what part of the application and the description of the Greenway is what I passed out to each of you. <coughs> the, green, the uh, open space plan from the year 2000. Hmm. So that, that is the Connecticut recognized Greenway, Woodbridge Greenway. In the document that you passed out prior to the meeting? Prior, uh, no, that was passed out at the beginning of the meeting where I said right. it's the 2000 open space plan. Right. The document prior to the meeting is my um, Revision? draft of how I think we can think about 
restructuring it to address some of the shortcomings and, and updating it. It's the 20 year anniversary. Um, it was approved, the Woodridge Greenway was approved in 2002. Uh, and I think it's due for an updating, but I, I you know, I have suggested a format that be, I think better enables people to know what parcels of land are part of the Greenway and what the protections are on those lands and, and calls attention to it. And we can go through the matrix and look at that. So just looking at the two reports, it looks like you put these tables in, <coughs> in each of the descriptions for what was in the original 2020. Yeah, yeah I tried to take each of the sections and put them in a table. In the 2000 plan, okay. Yeah. Now I did, you know, I, well, we'll, we'll get to it, but I, you know, I, I added a numbering system to it, um, section number one, section number two, mm -hmm. and then there's a 1B. Uh, I wanted to go back on one more point with from Barbara's comments. Uh, I started to say there's a, an official Woodbridge Greenway um, and there are references in different places about completing a circle around town, but but and you know I, I think when you look at the you know the Greenway today, it, it's it's not the perimeter of town, and I think some people talk about maybe trying to get a perimeter of town Greenway, and maybe that's some of the extensions, but I only know of one Woodbridge Greenway. Okay, the so connections to other towns, I think, are looked on by the state, um, and, and I think by people who worked on this before, as good things. They they may not. Um, they, it, and I guess it's splitting hairs a little bit. If, if the greenway we have is the greenway we have. That's the Connecticut recognized one. We can extend it, and then we'll talk to the state. I don't, and I don't know what we get if they'll say, "Oh yeah, we accept that you've expanded it." I, I don't know how that process works. I don't know if they have interest in that. <laughs> I, I think they they were running this program, and it's still ongoing, but as a way to drive towns to. And preserve open space and expand these corridors of open space for wildlife. <coughs> um, now, you know, do 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 they have a process for re reauthorizing a greenway? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Uh, it may be enough that we just do it ourselves and and say this is we've expanded our greenway with the extensions we have. You know, as we do it with the extensions we have in the back as we implement them. Um, I mean, you know. Um, it seems as though it would be nice to get state recognition mm -hmm. for what we ultimately do. So in the future, if we try to go for grants to expand it, we yeah. have, it's not just our idea <coughs> or our, right. our fantasy yeah. in terms of what right. we have. We, you yeah. know, we have a document we can point to that's been approved by the state. Yep, and certainly exactly. And certainly in the very least, I would think we should look into how the state, what their attitude is about this? Or do they, is this the Greenway, or do they? Well, they were. Add they were. They were extensions. The, the, you know, I say they. It was you know one person who is the program leader for the Greenway. So, mm -hmm. um, but but she was very happy that we were <coughs> looking to expand it, mm -hmm. and she was very happy that we were looking to try to make a connection. Uh, into New Haven and, and the uh, uh, West River Greenway. Mm -hmm. Well, in effect, um, we overlap with the West River Greenway already in, in a sense. I think there's a lot of value to connect or to try to get as close as we can to the Racebrook track because it's a place where people can park and yep. then use that as a starting off point mm -hmm. to get to the Greenway. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and it I would also connect to Orange, too, which yeah, is a good thing exactly. also. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Access is important, and that's another feature that I tried to include on the matrix that we can document. And I guess you know, 
so protection, access, and, and the third feature that I wanted to try to bring into this um, was the connection with historical sites in town and, and hope to build um, a relationship, further relationship <laughs> with the historical society and maybe get them to be able to provide information that we could link to. Uh, we have maps <coughs> we can put on QR codes and link to material they would develop because we don't have expertise, but maybe they have in their archives of the historical site, they can tell us. And you'll see in the original Greenway District, it's going to talk about historical kiln, blah, blah, blah. And, and you know, it doesn't have any meaning by itself. I, I think it needs, some of that needs some development. And, uh, and, you know, and maybe what we can you know, add to the historical side is, is telling people how to get to these places. How, how to get what? To how to get places? to these places. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, I mean, I can speak for the historical society. I'm, I, I think we'd be very happy to do such a thing. We have, we have a lot of material. Yeah. Not perhaps all of it. Well, I mean, I think that would be, I think it's a great idea. I mean, it would, uh, provide points of interest for people to hike to, so they right. could hike mm -hmm. to the three judges where the three judges hit out, or this historical kiln, or Sperry Falls, or yeah. the Roger Sherman yeah. homestead, or you know, what have you. Right. Just, you know, places where people could say, well, today we're gonna hike to this, and next weekend, or a month from now, we'll hike to this other yeah. one, and. Makes, makes a good family outing, and you know. It, it I have to say, I've been trying for, a few years now to get the historical society, maybe even in con conjunction with the with the land trust, to put on some hikes, you know, every two months or three months or whatever to some of these things. The 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 Gypsy Rock. I mean, not many people know the Gypsy Rock, but um, or the Leatherman's Cave, or you know, all these yeah. kinds of things that are all over yeah. town. And, mm -hmm. and, and I just, we used to do this down south, and I would love to have it done here, but we just, <coughs> yeah. I've been sort of overwhelmed. And but I think if we get an impetus from this crew or yeah. whatever, then we, we and an appropriate time, I think you know, we make contact and somehow get together, send a delegation over <coughs> to one of their meetings, and you know, mm -hmm. talk through it, see what what they're willing to do with it, us. It would be good to get suggestions from them too of what yeah. they think are historically significant places and yeah. you know that could be part of the greenway where we have you know milestones or areas where there were points of interest <laughs> along the trail. Yeah and I think that's perhaps part of the long-term review of this document because um, I've only included what was in the 2000 mansion. There may be more experts there on the history of the town who can say, yeah, in this section of town, we have this and this also. And, and Absolutely. Yeah. That's, so, that's, not, that's not difficult. That's yeah. all on okay. here. Um, and, and maybe of interest to people who are in the society that something yeah. that would be oh, helpful be, and maybe. actively work on. <coughs> um, the other thing, is, which is not exactly part of this, but something that occurred to me is really as we were just talking about and we were describing some things, et cetera, would be the possibility of having a um, short column, shall I say, in the Woodbridge News, talking about what is open space, what is, you know, what is protection, what is the, the com a, a column by the commission, just yeah. with it so it would get out to the public about mm -hmm. what is protected, what isn't protected, what is open space, what is a, what a, is agreement. That's a really Not good just idea. Have the document which some people who are there, who are interested will read, but have something that's sort of there where yeah. the, that they will read because it's right in front of them. Yeah. And maybe, yeah. you know, once every two months have an article. My, my experience is that newspapers love free content. <laughs> right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So let me take a second. Oh, welcome, Valerie. Uh, <laughs> good evening, everybody. Hi, Val. Hi. Uh, Glad you're here. Thank you. We're, um, as you know by the agenda, <coughs> the only being one item, we're on discussion mm -hmm. of the, the Greenway description and plan and just having a free and open discussion. Uh, actually, you've answered one question so far. <laughs> but no, it was a very okay. fruitful set of discussions. I will mention to yourself and to Kate that uh, um, uh, after we close the meeting, I have an admin item not uh, in five minutes. So if you're thinking we should be adjourning, do it five minutes ahead of time. So I'm okay. going to hit my one item when we're done. Um, uh, okay. So, Paul, did you want to like take a section or two and just look I at it? I just thought if we could look at, you know, look at the description that you've got here, we could point out to it and see where the parcels are that you're, um, you're talking about. Just, um, so I've lived in Woodbridge all my life, so I know where some of these spots are. But uh, it yeah, might be the, nice. One of the shortcomings I thought was that in the original times, these were described by name, a common mm -hmm. name, may, maybe familiar to many, mm -hmm. maybe familiar to some, maybe fading from the memories as the, the people whose land it was uh, have you know gotten further away from when they donated it and people forget. So like they're trying to accommodate both the common name and the addresses for those of us who haven't been in town a long time. Um, well, I, th I thought just, um, I looked through this uh, this afternoon and compared, I had a map and I was looking at a map at the same time. And I found, I found it very interesting that places that I would have thought were pretty far apart were not because the way you get to it is through a street Are that might be on the other, almost, <laughs> at least in my mind, was more or less on the other side of town or you know, quite, you know, quite far away. But when you looked at a map, you could right. see that the parcels were actually much closer than you might think. Exactly, there are several that way, yeah. Yeah. So, if uh, people were open to that, maybe we could just flip through the extensions, or the descriptions rather here, <laughs> and then look at the map too, and, and just kind of okay. all get informed in terms of what we're looking at. Are we looking at the descriptions of, of the Tim did or the from the original <coughs> I think they're the same aren't they Tim other I, than well I, I I did some minor editing if there were some things that were obviously not needed because you know it said the town is about to acquire this parcel and the town acquired it I dropped the bullet item Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so, and and I gave you the original. You know, I give out the original so that people can make sure I didn't over edit it. But I, I just I tried to thin it down. And then there's some items where I'm saying I'm not sure whether that we need that anymore. But I was going to leave that to the wisdom of the group. Yeah. So I think if we all stand around the map and look at these descriptions, we can kind of get a better idea of what we're looking at. And that also might give us some ideas in terms of, at a later point, what we might start to prioritize. Okay. Um, so there's, again, there's two sections, two big sections here. There's the existing greenway, and then there's the proposed extensions. So we'll, you want to start with the existing? Existing greenway, we can see where that is, and then we can look at the extensions. Well, I mean, yeah. obviously, one of the things we want to do is spend some uh, time in looking where we might be able to expand it going forward. Um, I think is this table for the
one possible map. Uh, so this is the same one. This is yeah. the first area that's described. So this property here, is this the first area that Darling was? Is this the Darling was here, where the Bishop Estate is? Yes. Yes, that is. The house itself is right over there. Okay. So, so that's straightforward in terms of... Yeah, the first section, I have a little number one here, but it comes down the ridge um, into uh, the Darling House property itself. There are a set of existing trails here, mm -hmm. and it pretty much ends at the Darling House. So the red lines are trails? Yes. Okay. So this red line that goes across Litchfield Turnpike here, mm -hmm. this is up to, up to Dillon Road. Is this this one? Yes, Darling House to Dillon Road. Starts right, you know, it starts at the split. So, and essentially, it starts at the Darling House because there's parking. And then you can you take it. The Boy Scout camp is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this runs through, as you see, the ridge. this is a um, combination of, uh, well, it's defined in here. <laughs> That's why, why I did this. It, it runs through uh, some town property, <coughs> some private property, Schultz. Uh, and then, um, Finally, into regional water authority property. Land trust has a piece in there too. So this defines all the properties as it passes through as it gets to Dillon Road, and that's where the water company property is. Okay. Okay, Dillon Road is up here. Park right here. Okay. Yeah, and then this is you know, my numbers are on this map are wrong, but in my mind of what I was doing. But. Essentially, this this is now section number two. Runs from Dillon Road to Round Hill Road. Up in this area. Uh, it, it, this, this gets a little challenging, this area. Uh, <coughs> I have it written here, Round Hill Road. Okay. Now, what what gets complex up here is that the Water Authority only lets you walk on their trails if you have one of their permits. So, in the description, you should see uh, a note that says, "Hey, if you don't have a water company per access permit." Then you can walk down Passaway Road and along Amity Road to, to follow the trail. Oh, I see. And they charge for those passes? Okay. They charge. It's, it's somewhat nominal, but there is a charge. And it's a yearly, um, maybe two years. Maybe you can get it for two years. Um, all right, the next section. The next section goes from Round Hill, so, so up in this area, to Newton Road. And this goes through a very small slice of an easement, uh, I guess on the electronic property. Mm. And then a town property and a couple more private properties, but, but we have easements. So the Newton Road is this, this one. So it's really this section. It's over Big Hill. And it comes up from the Amity Road, goes up around, the hill. up around Hill, down 
again to Newton Road. And then it goes to the next section, <coughs> section four. Goes goes through it, actually go up someone's driveway. Walk up a driveway. Mm. But we have a, there's an easement and how it has. And it, it uh, goes on, the, on a long boardwalk. Mm -hmm. And uh, Seymour Road. So let's see where we need that would be. <coughs> uh, right here. Okay. And I, I, my mistake, I think the private driveway is over here. Where is the um, upside down for Yes. Oh, that goes through there. Oh, goodness. That's blooming itself. All right. The next section is uh, Seymour Road from mm -hmm. here to, to the lodge. Mm -hmm. Loading there. Um, now the lodge. Uh, this is now part of the uh, piece on the map. So somebody must have maybe that's the name of the people who donated the property. Okay. I, I don't know. Um, maybe not. Maybe there is a, a use for it as an Indian lodge. Perhaps I don't know the, the history. Lodge, and I'm uh, hoping. The lodge is, is one of the places that the renegades ah. regicides. Okay. Hit. And that's why when I need they were being <laughs> found up here, and they, or they were found up here, then then oh, uh, drop, yeah. uh, what's his face, uh, uh, Richard Sperry, took them over here. Okay. Who were the renegades? The renegade the re regicides were the the three of the people that condemned the King of England to death. The judges. The three yeah. judges. judges. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they get slow. Right. And there were only two of them in this. <coughs> So now we're in the Eldersley Preserve. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's part of it. This is Peck Hill. We enter it from here, but it really starts to we start to wind our way through it. And you'll see it when I in section number five in the document down at the very bottom, the second entry from the bottom, 211 Peck Hill Road, the Eldersley Preserve. I, and some of this I don't even know if it's true anymore. That's yeah, th those are things we have to figure out. Figure out yeah. um, so then section number six, which I have labeled number seven on this when I originally did the work. Um, is the lodge to Milford Meadows. So still within <coughs> Elder's Lake. Oh, and I guess I found it. It says Lodge Estate there, so I must, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe it really wasn't this part of the estate. Oh, Milford Meadows is there. I thought that was like where Milford Side Cemetery was. Oh no, no, the meadows no. is way down. Okay. Uh, that's Beach Road School, and the cemetery should be on here. Right? Yeah. That's, no, but this cemetery over there. That's, that's, that's the Melford oh. site. This is Melford. That's yeah, the yeah, that's the one I thought the Melford Meadows was. Oh, no, 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 it's on um, <coughs> the Hill Road, the okay. part next to the part of the road. And then the next section covers the Melford Meadows to the Buffalo Falls. This piece of property for the land trust has that. Mm -hmm. And then the next section, Buffalo Falls to Center Road. So through Allison to Street Park. Pretty much it, 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 well, it doesn't, this is misleading actually. Uh, well, I guess it's not because it, it, you, you come down and then you take a right hand turn when you come this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is this? That, that's uh, trails that are in Bethany. 
Oh, okay. All right. And, and there, there are. And they connect in. Yeah. yeah. There, there was, there are comments in the, in the text that talk about making <coughs> connections to the Bethany trails, mm -hmm. that I don't know has ever been done. Mm -hmm. And then Center Road, I looked up and lost my place. Center Road, um, so this is through the Fitzgerald property, the Beecher Road, mm -hmm. up here. Mm -hmm. And then Beecher Road to Pease Road. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to um, just digress for a second and say, you know, I, I, I see opportunities that there occurs at the end of this section going into the next section, which is uh, section number 11. Is this there. the area where they said that um, there was an easement through the, some of the Toll Brothers development? No, um, yes, but it, it's, uh, it's up here. Okay. It's not... It's not over here at not the close end. Not close to people. Yeah. Uh, what happens over here is, is they, they sort of ended it here. You go Pease Road to Fountain Street, Wilbur Cross Park. And so I don't even know if I drew that one in. Where's the... Uh, to Wilbur Cross Park or Fountain Street. So Fountain Street is Ansoni Road. Is this one? Remen, yeah, but it's Antonio. That's the Antonio. That's Antonio, okay. Yeah, so, so it's there. Which is the trust trail that so, goes so down here. So, yeah. So, part of what happens here, I'll just go back for a second, there's a, there's um, utility lines that mm -hmm. run up through here, and I guess that's this line. And in order to gain access to the trails over here, right now you have to walk along the road opportunity to, and you'll see this in the document someplace, to take the trail as it exits <coughs> instead of exiting where it does. Um, and this is an old map, so there was a development put in here, so this is gone. And the, and the trail right now goes here where this pencil line is. I don't want to write on it, but down mm -hmm. here and this way. Mm -hmm. and, you're, and here's the road walk. Here's where you get into the other trails. Um, it's basically a driveway. So there's a, if we can talk to the land trust and try to get them to move the trail down closer, you can make this a very short cross the street and, and, and put a trail still on um, power company property, but so to lessen the road. Mm -hmm. Safety is another thing that I think we try to build in. Mm -hmm. right, if we've done that, we don't to talk about. Well, obviously, it's more reasons. scenic if you're not yeah. under high tension wires or on a road. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So, um, so let, let me just bring up one thing that I, I've done, um, or wanted to talk about. Um, we're, we're getting. If you put aside the West Rock piece that comes down from the ridge here, let me put it this way. I'm not sure why they started the Woodbridge Greenway Trail in New Haven. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Yeah, I just don't know. Me here? Of, yeah, that's New Haven. Um, Where's the property? Well, the actually, it's it's... I don't know why it's New Haven. It's it's really Hamden. It's well, unless well, New Haven well, owns West Rock, so it, it is. They, New they, 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 well, I, I shouldn't have said that. It's the state of Connecticut. Well, no, the state of Connecticut. New Haven owned it. They gave it to the state of Connecticut. Hmm. Um, so I, I misspoke. So why? Why did they know, started at a, you know the it, state of Connecticut? Yeah. Yeah, it, uh -huh. it's not. It's not in the Woodbridge. So. So, and I said, you know, this, this section, that is the first section in the 2000 plan, is really a connector in my mind 
the rest of it starts to form a circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, we, now we're missing a piece here to, to close the circle. And this piece, this kind of is a, is a connector too to New Haven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so. Well, it also could be a connector to eventually to the race book track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, and we'll get into that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I'll, I'll show you where I have some thoughts on that. So what I did, I just want to show you on my numbering proposal, because I'm not sure it's the right thing to do. But it will change. <laughs> you know, they never number their sections. But I, if you look on, uh, I didn't number my pages. I rolled for the next edition. Mm -hmm. If you look back in section number one, where we started, mm -hmm. Darling House to West Rock, mm -hmm. I said maybe we should call that section number 1A. Because it's a connector. And then start our, the, our greenway really at the Darling House. But this part is Woodridge. It goes to the base of yeah, the it, it is. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. But, yeah. but it, 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 it does. It passes through. But, but you know, our, our... It also is very confusing because it has so many different lines spokes of yeah. the... Okay, but it, it's a w it's a way to get to the New Haven right. and the West Rock Ridge Trail. So right, I right. Keep saying New Haven, but yeah. Connecticut. Yeah. New Haven owns some parts too. Um, so, and I did the same thing over here, going this way into New Haven. So there's a couple of sections where I said, let's maybe when we number this, let's start at the Darling House with section number one going on the circle and make mm -hmm. the circle the number section. And then if we have, you know. Isn't this property owned by the town also, between the parkway and Woodfield Road? Uh, land trust owns some and the town owns some. Okay. So um, this, are these this. dotted lines, are these the power lines? Power lines. I think we should be paying attention. It's a lot easier to connect yeah. from here to here if you can go. Yeah. So we can, let's look yeah. at the extension. I know, I saw yeah. your section four. Yeah. Um, Yeah, because this, as you say, Paul, this works wonderfully to, to connect that direction. Well, but as the circle, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to. Right? I mean, you yeah, could park yeah. your cars here and then mm -hmm. well, what, what you'll start, see, start on the trail. Yeah, I mean, you can see my pencil marks mm -hmm. when I do this. That, that I think there's a, um, there's a lot of town owned, owned land here. Um, there's a Coming out of the country club, the, you know, once you get across the road, um, the land trust owns a, a strip that goes up. Doesn't who owns Bishop Pond? I thought that was that was given to the trust, or this is it right here. I thought that was given to there, the, the trust, or the, or the the land trust has a piece up here, so I do think that's on. Okay. Okay. Um, and. Um, I thought there was a piece of property that was donated to the town too that was supposed to be donated for conservation too. I thought, I thought. That's what I heard. Actually, I, I had heard that the whole Bishop Pond was, but apparently it hasn't. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Do you want to go to the extensions? Yes. Sure. My, my, my package fell apart here. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't number the thing, so that's a bad practice. Yeah, I, will, I, I will fix that. I look for numbers. Yeah, yeah, I I, oh, here we are. So do I. Those extensions. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah. So, Roman numeral two. Um, I guess so. It's under my foot pole. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. You want the date? The page before? Should be one. Um, okay. That, that's the page before. Sorry. Okay. okay. Two pages before. Yep. Yeah. Because I. I the, 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 the first section of extensions okay. is kind of completing the circuit because we said we, we <coughs> ran around and we kind of stopped and we said we dumped off down into New Haven. Mm -hmm. So you know, can we find a way <laughs> to get roughly from you know, um, well, 
th this, Somewhere this is here. a trail, yes, here. All right, I'll talk about this property and then complete the circle over mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. That would that would be so current trip current greenway goes here. So we want to go part way, <laughs> but then peel off. And that's what uh, this section one complete the greenway circuit around town. Eleven <coughs> A. We turn this into eleven A because it's mm -hmm. just an extension someplace else. And then section twelve is this intersection. There's a glacial erratic, a large glacial erratic, and there's a couple of trails that pass it now. Um, and we we go from there uh, to Amity Road. That's the. That's the. That's the end of Park Lane. Or that's the end of Park it's, Lane. That's mm. the, that's the so. Gypsy Rock. Oh, is that what they call that? Mm-hmm. Because that's where the Gypsies stayed when they were going from from the, the valley down to New Haven. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. The one they go they down. Yeah. They go down. Go down Ansonia Road, and then and then they just all, go. All these and that's where the Leatherman's Woodbridge Place was too. Right there in the same area. So the trail that just goes off of Fountain Street, that's where, is that what we're talking about? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, I'd have looked at Oh, you can come that. from, from yeah. Park Lane down, down yeah. to it. Yeah. I think it'd be yep. great to have all those little yep. tidbits of interesting yeah, information mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. That would be with a link so you could read the yeah. extended description. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a phone, boom, boom, boom. Make yeah, a that would be nice. Mm -hmm. So let me see if I can figure out where this is. Uh, Sorry, I interrupted. No, that's no, okay. And and I, and I, and I, and my, you know, I put, I put most of this together in the last summer, so it's a little easy in my mind. Um, <coughs> so we go Park Lane, Park Lane, Crumb Elbow Road, which is the town road. It's not here. Crumb I thought Elbow. that was the one that was closed, right? Did we walk on that that goes when it, we were looking at the... the it's thing? right where we were up yeah. in Park Lane. Crumb Elbow. It's yeah. not a real road anymore. It was it's a paper was, road, so called. Up, up by, so by Sperry Falls, or the Elbow Road. Here's Park Lane. So, yeah, the, these trails. It, the road you're talking about used to come down behind Wells Fargo Bay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that trail is still there. We're, and, and you would want to, and I may be pointing over here on this. I think the junction is here, so we would want to go down to Wells Fargo. Mm -hmm. The problem with Wells Fargo, of course, is that it is, um, we've lost the last bit of it. Because of, because yeah. Because of the commercial Because of the commercial, yeah, and, yeah. And no care, yeah. care was taken to get right. an easement or a little right. sliver of land. Mm -hmm. And you come out on this, you know, I call it a knife edge. And you walk out and it gets narrower and narrower and you're kind of just standing there up in the air and you have to go on privately owned property to get down and walk through the Wells Fargo Shopping Center. What's so his see. name? Oh, not De Janeiro. What was his name? He's a realtor. Priest? Uh, up. Priest, exactly. He owns a lot of that land in there. But he's not very amenable to people being on it. I, have, I don't <laughs> recognize the name. I looked up the owners of those. Um, but what, what, what I think at the very bottom there, you come out on part of that property, very closest to this knife's edge of the trail, <coughs> is a crosswalk across Amity Road on the Bradley Road. And, and, yeah. and the, 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 the thought is you can talk to those owners and say, you'd like to build pedestrian access into your shopping center into your set of steps. It's a town goal to increase pedestrian access and, and that would provide a way down from the trail, but a way for people to get into that shopping center in the whole community. You know, would be interesting. You're talking about near near the, the, the infamous sign for the, for the old um, the old retreat, the one that's sitting there on the road, and it 
goes up behind, actually not Wells Fargo, well, up behind the, the next the, set of buildings where the doctors and all oh, that. Oh, yeah. That, that, That's yeah, the road, at least. Mm. And goes on. There's a the road that, goes, that mm -hmm. used to go up, yeah. It does that go up. It's still there. there. Yeah. And then you can walk from there, um, and you can, you're close to another trail that, that goes on. I can't That's Bud Priest property. Yeah. Okay. But. So we're going to have a hard time. <laughs> yeah, but the Wells Fargo is not Bud Priest. No. No, that's no. owned by some development company, uh, not not around town, and uh, Wells Fargo doesn't own it, so we you know, have to just pursue that, and hopefully get an agreement to, you know, that that's mutually beneficial, mm -hmm. and then build the stairway access, and then then you cross. Bradley when you Road. say it's stairway access, would you mean it's down that, like, that concrete yeah, wall? Yeah, there, there's, there's an embankment. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, you know, it's covered with the low, low, I'll say, I don't want to say fir trees, but they're obviously not fir trees, little shrubs, green, evergreen shrubs. Mm -hmm. they, they planted it, kind of deteriorated a little bit, but they used some sprucing up, but it, it's, you know, I can just see a set of wooden stairs that goes up. Is it behind the Wells Fargo building? Or right? No. If, if you... If you're driving down the Amity Road, before you get to the turn into Wells Fargo, um, there's a trailer uh, company there. Right. So at the end of the trailer so company, it yeah. starts the property for the, the, for the bank. The and, the, the oh, okay. side, <laughs> and it's be before, between the end of the trailer company and you get to the driveway for Wells Fargo, there's a whole embankment of low shrubs. And on the very left hand side of that you'll see an area where there's a raised knife's edge and you you know just come off of that walk 10 feet through their property and, and put the stairs down okay but you know. to, between wells fargo next to wells fargo is is the is that row of commercial buildings that has have a doctor's office and you can drive around <coughs> behind it. Cetera. Next to Wells Fargo coming from, from up the, here. From the up here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Why are we coming all the way down there and not down past where the glacial erratics are? Like, is there a reason well, why? Well, well we're, we're doing both. Okay. Okay. Both. I mean, because if, if it's going to be a hassle, or yeah. a struggle to get an easement to come down by Wells Fargo, I, I guess it would be good to be pursuing yeah but, we're, 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 but yeah, but how do you get down from up here <coughs> if we're, again, um, if we're you know, at the end of Park Lane, right. 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 That's it. it's here. Glacial erratics in construction here. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I, maybe I don't know where it is to tell you the truth. I thought it was down in here. Yeah, no. You go to the end of Park Lane and then you start to walk this trail. You turn, turn. So you turn this left. Is, this is huh. the glacial erratic. Um, and then when you, you get into this property and then it drops down to the end of the road. So from elbow. Yeah. So it's Park Lane and then from elbow comes off to the, to the right. Mm -hmm. This way. It's not even on the mm -hmm. So we I mean when we went yeah. it was barely a road yeah. anymore anyway. Right. And so you know, how would you drop down to get to complete this circle is the question. And, and you know, I looked What is this? Well, is that you? You, you, I, you I owns this property. Okay. And I looked to see if you could possibly put a trail in here. It's it's a. And it's yeah, it's like it's that. It's a significant mm -hmm. increment. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, 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 I sort I've abandoned yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And then even switch back, you think? Possible. It's possible. I mean, I, it's not. It's not easy. No, it's not. It gets very rocky. It's just very steep. And this is all straight down too, right? Right in here? I mean, the, 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 the 
the stop and shop, et cetera, is right in here, right? You know, I, you know, the, this behind the Wells Fargo. Yeah, you got to talk to someone and we'll talk them into an easement to do that. But, mm -hmm. um, um, Somewhere but, but, it, but, you know, they may say yes. <laughs> it may not be so hard, and then it's just a matter of funding. I don't think that much to build the stairs. Find someone I mean, to do it. We've had bigger problems up here. <laughs> Jesus. Because they, there's a road that's missing here. No, there could be. I mean, this is 1984. No, but this map was, this map, I mean, this road's been there forever. It's the one that I'm talking about, the Bud Free Stones. Oh. It goes up behind, I, I know, I know, behind yeah, that, up. Yeah. yeah. Goes up behind the, those professional buildings, yep. the white mm -hmm. professional buildings. Mm -hmm. no, I've been goes on straight it. up in there, and there's because that would be a way to get. Although it's too far back. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, but but you, you're, it's the same thing. You, you, if you if you walk through the commercial buildings, <coughs> you know, I, don't, I don't know how people feel about that. Yet. For Wells Fargo, you can walk through their parking lot, mm -hmm. and I guess. They want mm -hmm. people there. I mean, and so I, you know, I guess there's no insurance worry because they pay insurance for people to be walking through mm -hmm. the private mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. um, so you can have people walk. The nice thing about this location, instead of having people walk through the parking lot and then on Amity Road to get to the crosswalk, you can go almost directly down to the crosswalk. Yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. So it's a safety. <coughs> Down here and now here, here's Merritt Avenue. And we had that discussion. Mm -hmm. and that, you know, did, when I did this, Merritt Avenue was it wasn't even known, so that's not even in here. But that would be the connection in to join up to the Greenway. And then some way you have to follow. <coughs> it's all densely developed, and I'm uh, I'm, I'm going to go with someone. Um, to look at the uh, dog uh, animal control shelter mm -hmm. that's here as well. It says dog mm -hmm. um, to see if there's a way to access. Maybe this is all road here, mm -hmm. but it'd be lovely to be able to walk. Well, that of course is that's the quarry. <laughs> yeah, that's the quarry, and mm -hmm. right next to it, and it's and it's they have it very blocked off. Mm -hmm. And this is very steep here, and you can't get a trail up on top. Um, and, uh, you know, so through the dog pound, I'm going to take a look, hopefully, and see if there's a possible way to walk along the edge. Um, and, and again, you need easements. If there's any normal place, any normal town, this would be developed into a park. Yeah, would have been developed true. into it's, a park. I can't believe a hundred million years ago. I can't believe it's, it's, it's what a resource yeah, and, it, and it's, it's just hidden. Yeah. You hardly know it's there. Yeah. I just, yeah. you know, it pains me when I see that. But the the um, <coughs> there's um, you know West Rock State Park. The town owns some parcels up in here. Um, and then we come to the Nugent property, and the Nugent property has the town um, and various commissions have tried to acquire that property. Um, and there's, I, there's been at least two, maybe three times that there were almost deals, and then they got walked away from at the last minute. Is what I hear. I have no personal experience. With Who's it. the owner of the property? Um, it's the Nugent family. There's James Nugent. There, um, I, I don't know the name, truthfully, it, it's, um, you have to look it up, um, but there, there are multiple owners, mm -hmm. relatives, 15, 2015, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. complex. Half mm -hmm. of them, they don't yeah. know where they are, and they... Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, but, right. but that, that, this, this all, like, we spend a lot of time, but this all talks to that first possible extension. Mm-hmm. The need Locus for an extension from approximately there to approximately yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yes, is, right. 
Yeah, and how do you do that? Right. You know, and you know, we get married out and you know, it's a nice continuous connection. Um, but what are those streets there? Where's that area there? What the streets? This, well, there's no streets yeah. over there. This is yeah. behind Canola's Pond. Oh, okay. I mean, um, this right here. James New. I'm sorry. <laughs> James I didn't, Nugent didn't recall. <laughs> As I said, it was nine months ago. Yeah. What does this property look like? Does it have any, any value to it or any use to it? This Nugent property? Yeah. Um, apparently, they had dreams of developing um, and putting house, they, I don't know, house or houses there. OK, is it a rocky area or is it? This area up here mm -hmm. is extremely rocky. OK. It, it is like the top of West Rocky. It comes down steeply. and. Um, and it's unbuildable up here. Mm -hmm. This area, is <laughs> the river is flows through it. This wetlands. Is, the river <laughs> is wetlands. Mm -hmm. okay. and so in order to develop it, <coughs> from what I'm told is they have to build some type of bridge over <laughs> the wetlands. To, to, to and, the rocks. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and develop before in here. So that, and, and they think it's worth a lot of money. And it's close access. So we can try to find a way around that. But this is challenging itself. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I, someone lined up and we agreed to go take a look to see if there's some way you can walk along the back. So I just don't know how else to do this. And it's such a, I mean, that's something where she had a lot of money. Mine. Uh, I'm going to make it into a park. Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let us buy it from you. Hmm. You can continue to run your your business, but then let's you know, buy out the rest of it so the town can have access to it. All right. So I the, know that hmm. the trail walkers are going to have to get in little boats and be rowed through the pond they, to they the can, other side. They can charge a nickel. Right. <laughs> for boat ride. Yeah. Make a business out of it. All right. The second one, the tie in the country club of Woodridge, the Greenway, and the town center. I just put this as separate to go to the country club. <coughs> the, uh, yeah, and nobody can see because I'm standing in front of it. I'm going to just read it. this. So, um, country club is 50 Woodfield Road. Uh, and then it goes, we need an easement on four park lane. And that's probably this little mm -hmm. section, I imagine. Right, right, right there. Oh, to connect to the to land trust lane. To land trust lane. Mm -hmm. now, I haven't walked that. Uh, you may be able, and you could walk on the road to get up there. There would mm -hmm. be some safety concerns, but we, we can, you know, that's an either or. And then um, you've got the land trust property that goes up, uh, and then, then you go through a bunch of town property that sits in here, little, little parcels. Hmm. Most, hmm. Some of them, a couple of them are private. And then you get up to this forest road, one forest road. And, hmm. and, and then we can get into the, into this property up here. And that's, this seems to me to be very <coughs> doable and leverages the country club. Yeah, they're not the gaps there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are some gaps, but they're not huge. They're, they're, the, the, the gaps, it's all town property if you look at the list. But mm -hmm. what is Section this 14. area here? Oh, it is town property, okay. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Going from here to here, though, is... Yeah. What, what is this? I don't even know. It's just um, interior... Yeah, there, there are a number of small lots over on this side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just a big piece of town property. Oh, really? Different parcels, as I like laid out here. Eight Forest Road, one Forest Road, and 44 Park Lane, which is town, but it used mm -hmm. to belong to UI. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a very doable mm. extension of the Greenway. Um, 
And then you have kind of a destination here too, where yes. there's parking and other <coughs> other trails. Yeah. People could just hike, yeah. hike, just hike this property alone. Right. You know, spend a day doing that. Mm -hmm. Or half a day or so. And then, as you say, it connects right on yeah. down yeah. there. Yeah, and then yeah. And that. Um, Which is. And, and I think. Back to the perimeter. Th this, <laughs> this also sets up, I guess, um, Power Line Junction. Mm -hmm. So I called it Power Line Junction. Let's see if I can find this now. Um, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think this is, would be a, a little different path. It would come up the same way here, <coughs> and then you could. Here's the junction, mm -hmm. and, and we can get through here, and then you can start to walk up on the power line, um, come through the burial ground, and then you have the uh, soccer fields that are developed. Mm -hmm. The Hitchcock property. Your, Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you know, then you know, I got to go back and remember how I did this. East side, okay, and then east side <coughs> burying ground to wood side. And there's some easements that are needed. So let's see, where's wood side? <coughs> Sorry, anybody spot that? <coughs> we go east side to to Center Road, 52 Center Road. A ledgy property, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then 127 Beecher Road. Mm -hmm. There's a private property, so that's the tricky one. This is Beecher Road here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's Woodside. Okay. So, and then um, Woodside Drive is a town road, so you can walk that, and then you're you can connect up to Fitzgerald. So it makes it. It makes a little <coughs> internal circle mm -hmm. that connects the center of town to this. That would be a nice walking trail. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know, if you, you know, can, if you can make that there's happen. There's places to park here. There's yep. places to park right. there. You could. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. So that's a worthwhile. So when it makes, you know, when the power lines, the, you know. We write to the power company and say we'd like to do this, and they could be they good let about you go doing along that. The edges yeah. of it? We already have trails on it, so this would just yeah. be some okay. extensions. You know, I kind of look. There's not. I don't see a great <coughs> need to continue it up here, but we'll get other input on that. So, and that, you know, that as you said, Paul, that's a nice, that's a nice walk. You can mm. do that. Mm -hmm. Get something out of it, and if there's parking and it's both both ends of it is more of a destination too. Yeah. yeah. Well, what I like is you know people will walk away, and, and I think this came up at one of your meetings. I, you know, that people wanted to have more ability to walk to the center of town. Yeah, mm -hmm. off the road. Off mm -hmm. the road, uh -huh. so that you know that starts to give you one path to do it. Right. Is this town-owned? Is this? That's Oakland, I think. Right? Yeah, That's Oakland. Oakland. This is yeah. all Oakland. Goes yeah. all the way over to yeah. the Sorensen Corner. My yeah. gosh! Yeah. It's right on and Woodfield Road. Yeah. That, <coughs> remember that big barn that was there that burned down? So That's uh, the Sorensons. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, right on the corner. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was part of. So the, so this is the third area of possible extension that you're starting to talk to about. With. And it would go from the Country Club of Woodbridge to Ricebrook Track. Now, the, the way I thought made sense, and I know Paul there's another way around, perhaps, but the way I thought it made some sense was to to go on uh, Woodfield Lane to, and walk west to Johnson Road. There's Johnson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and basically, you walk as a town, you walk on the road, the clear view. There's clear view. You walk on Johnson Road. Yeah. 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 Why don't you go the long here? Well, that that's an option. So let yeah, me, that would let be me. a way you could go like yes. this, let and me, then let me. just hold on, cross hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say go through there, what do you mean? 
because that's, I'll tell you, it's all heavy weapons. I live right there, so what do you mean go through where? <laughs> So you, you, you meant, hey, if you can get on uh, Woodfield and you walk over and connect on to the Oakland here. Onto to the golf course? Onto to the golf course. And it, well, it's not, the golf course doesn't exist over there. It's just their property, right? Yeah, it's their You're talking no, about no, Sorensen's no. old house. No, no, no. We're on Johnson and Claret. But this is this Sorensen's is house right. right here, right on that corner where the barn was There's that burned big, down. The okay. barn that burned down. But that's owned by the golf course and lived in by the golf They're, course. Right. And they have some right. maintenance. But I'm asking that's so. that was all fields. It's not it's not it's not It's still gonna plunk you right onto a private golf course. I don't know that they're yeah. gonna want to there, there are there are golf holes through here. Yeah. Here. I have there it. are? Yeah. Yeah. It goes way back to there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So, well, I just remember it as a farm, so I don't, I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of golf courses that allow people to walk on. You just have to have signs that say, this is golf etiquette when people are hitting stops. So, and where you're yeah. talking yeah. about, so is there's the country club. Club. You see the golf course? There's, oh, yeah. what is this? Wait, uh, Woodbridge, right? The Sorensen Farm. Oh, yeah, this is right? the golf course right here, yeah. The barn was over this here. This is open, open, open to the public, public yeah, yeah, private yeah. course. Yeah. used to be a yeah. private uh, club, but now it's open to the public. I mean, you pay to use it. But there's a hole, right? It's Oakland. Really? Oh, Oakland. Oh my gosh, what I, little I know about this town. What was that? There's a golf, the, the, the golf this, course so goes all the way the back farms right behind there. the house. So back nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I mean, because when you drive along here, you don't see it. No. So it's a yeah, you don't see it. It's uh, a couple hundred Holy yards back. Holy moly. <laughs> but, I mean, that, that's, that's a possibility, you know. Um, a lot of golf courses allow people to walk yeah. on them as long as they're respectful. May I propose something instead? So mm -hmm. something for us to think about mm -hmm. is if you're at the Country Club property, so let's Club of Woodbridge. Country Club of Woodbridge property, mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm upside down. Mm -hmm. <coughs> which is over here, mm -hmm. you cross over onto Brookwood and that dumps you onto those which are flat. So these are the power line ones. Okay. Um, and you can walk. Brookwood is this one. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. they have a cart path, but they don't have any holes through there. Yeah. Um, and it'll you can get over. Maybe still. You can get across yeah. the parkway. But so your goal is to try and get to Racebrook. Yeah. The Racebrook track, Race yeah. which is directly across the power lines, goes yeah. through Racebrook too, but you can't. Get you across the parkway. Yeah. You can't get a parkway. Yeah, you neither either Johnson Road or Ricebrook Road. Right. Um, so I mean, you're gonna. Yeah. Just to just to you know, throwing out ideas, if you were able to cross the street here, you'd be right. I mean, you'd literally you're 100 yards from one green area to another green area, just crossing the street. You could come over to here, and if you were able to go parallel the parkway there for a couple hundred yards and cross and then go back in? There are people. I mean, there's lots, of, there's a lot, a lot of houses there. there. Yeah. I mean, that's, I'm right well, here. So, <laughs> the, so the, parkway, the parkway generally has a, a, um, yeah, a border that, a, a border that, yeah, that's, and that's that side sometimes is, it's fenced. This side is all, well, all wetlands on this okay. side of okay. the parkway in this yeah. section. Hmm. And Back here on that one, it's all yeah. like there's five the acres river. of wetlands. <coughs> and that's you can see the river runs through. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right through. Mm -hmm. so, so, you know, I don't, I, you know, it, I think it is, well, you're saying this is what. Yeah, I mean, are you, Paul, are you concerned that people aren't getting to Racebrook? Or you want them to be able to walk from the country club? Well, it would be nice. This is a big walking area here. People park here and walk this race for track. So it's a huge piece of property. Oh, yeah, no, I'm well mm -hmm. aware. They also park at the end of Clearview or Clearfield and do the same. Like, I don't, I haven't seen people impeded by being able to get in from the Woodbridge side well, my without thought, having a truck. My thought was if, if we were able to get across the other side of the parkway, you would connect some very large pieces of open space to another very large piece of open space. And that would be a feeling, you know, if you were going to go go for the day to go walking, 
hiking, uh, you know, you'd have a really open space to go. Yeah, I mean, people are, we property. have mountain bikers who are doing that, you know, all yeah. week anyway, without. Yeah, yeah, there, there's, it's, this would be the mine. My proposal is mostly town roads. People, yeah. bikers probably do it anyway, um, mm -hmm. if they know about it. Um, I guess if you could minimize the time you're on a road, yeah, somehow, absolutely. you know, I don't know what this looks like yeah. uh, in person, but generally along the parkway there's uh, a buffer zone on either side. So then you're getting into like DOT, you know, mm -hmm. getting easements from the Department of Transportation to be on the okay. Well, th so it is going to be a challenge to work. Why so. is this big swath here? Does anybody know? Why this doesn't come up to the parkway just like it does on this side? On the other side? On the other, on the other side? On the other side. I think it's just a discrepancy. They, I mean, they have, there's like parking lots Whoops. over there from when it was actually, like, had park. Mm -hmm. And so when you drive through, the, those sections have much wider short like mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. I don't remember. Yeah. I can't vision because this is on the orange side. Right. I know that there was a rest Ridgewood, area. Ridgewood Drive is there. Right. There the rest was. rest area was on this side though. Right, it was on the Whippers side. Right. Yeah. Right. So I can't I don't recall what that is. I have to drive past okay. and see. Okay. So then amazing. Yeah. It's very helpful. No, we're not very connecting over here at all. Well we're, that, we're that's worthless over that, there. That, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> skip that because it, that's, I, that's where I live. We're it's worthless. the dream. The, the dream. I mean, there are a couple sections here. Uh, well, one section at the end, five extensions <coughs> to the southwestern section of town. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's just done with words because I think it's a. It's analogy. It's a longer putt. Yeah. No, um, it's true. I mean, and you have the whole. Where am I here? Can't tell. Where's Massaro? Is this Massaro? Massaro no, that's, that's Mises' property that they gave to the town for a school, and then it was decided the traffic was too awful on the, on Rimmon Road, so they never built the school. Okay. <coughs> uh, and, but this whole thing was owned by Mises. Uh, Ford Road. Yeah. Massaro's right. Okay. Ford Road. Um, in one of these. <laughs> Here's Ford Road. Right, so that's Ford. Ansonia. So where your where your seven is is the side. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the job. And um, and that's what where it says fourteen. <laughs> uh, I think that was that's all. So that was my thought of that. And that's where my my heated houses are. Right, at this side. So Paul, there there was some thing you have lots of tracks here. Somehow connect this up. Mm -hmm. Which, but, but, which but might you be can, possible. You can so eventually. Yeah. I mean, there are, because you do have Massaro in there. Yeah. And then there is an, there are some more parcels along here. And my newer map shows it. And with the parcels that were clear cut? Oh, the clear cut ones are down here on Northrop. Yeah. yeah. It, it was tough. I outlined it briefly here. Under section five, you can take a look and see if you can figure something out. But I, I couldn't. I just For couldn't instance, bring myself to come up with a, something that would work. There are. Well, that's with sorrow. Mm -hmm. But then you've got a little section here, which I didn't even know existed. Um, that edges on Mulberry Road and goes over to Mulberry Road. I mean, on Ford Road and goes to Mulberry Road. And then you have another section. Oh, I guess that's the that's the Mies property. But yeah, that's the Mies property across from Rimmon Hill. Where are the where did they cut trees down on North Road? <laughs> um, first Ward. Where is way, it? Way, 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 way. Get way, way. Uh, that's my property right there. Okay. And you keep on going down here past past Fawn. Fawn, yeah, way down. And it's the back end of, OK, 
Okay, that answer only yeah, okay, it's, it's it's when you drive down the road it's shot. Oh sorry. It's like all of a sudden there's oh, no, okay. there's no yeah, trees at all. It's it's yeah. in here. Right. Between Mitchell right in here. It's, yeah. Okay. Between right in here. Kind of, it was the back end of Masaro, is what it was. And they didn't take it when they had the Masaro property. So it cuts to it. I'd this like to go. Very helpful. Good. Mm. Yes, I'd like so to go sit good. down and talk about what our next steps might be and mm -hmm. um, how we take it forward. There are no more people on this commission than there are because I spread out one whole side <laughs> of the table. of work that we need to do, um, the verifying and the edit, the information that's in the existing. Um, number two, uh, discuss the numbering scheme and see what makes sense, because if we're going to extend it, you know, perhaps that thought I had of having 1A for an extension to another town may not make sense, and we may just say simplify it and just give every section a number and that'll be it, you know, and, you know, don't try to be too creative with it. So we need to discuss that. Um, uh, well, and, and I guess, you know, make sure you're comfortable with, everybody's comfortable with the format. And then uh, number three, discuss the extensions and complete that information. So that's, you know, that's the newest information, so you may need to add to that a lot more than I just sketched out. Yes. Is will the map be included with the document? Something I had not even considered. What are your thoughts on that? So this exercise was made much easier and when we could look at the map and see exactly kind of where those streets and so I'm wondering if we have the bandwidth to do this when you're clicking on section fourteen A can that pop up something that has like, you know, the GIS with just the lines of what we're actually talking about in the streets or some kind of marking mechanism so that you could see where it is in the town? Because that was that was extraordinary. Like, you know, crumb crumb elbow. Yeah. You know, who the heck? Who <laughs> would that is. Yeah. Right. So I think it's, it's helpful and to have it a map with each section kind of delineated. Mm hmm. Uh, well, the current Greenway maps that exist, and there's a little history here. When the, the maps were originally done, they were called the Greenway maps. And there was one, again, going back to that 2000 plan, there was one map for each section that's defined there. And you might easily recall when I brought in a very tall map, I opened it up, there was a big map in the center of the whole town, and then there were individual maps all around. And so we, there are maps of each of the Greenway sections. So I almost picture it where you would click on the section and it would be, you know, the individual streets and then it would have the larger Woodbridge map, and you could see like that's within it, yeah. 
So you could see like, all right, this is the exact section, but then you could orient it within the Woodbridge map. Mm -hmm. I like. I just really think having the visual yeah. aspects the important. Visuals. I, I, mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. I, I, right. I, I I agree with your concept. The practicality of implementing that or the technology, I don't know about. Uh, I think it's a worthwhile discussion with Sprout. Yeah, absolutely. And, and as we go forward, and what I was saying that originally there were, we had maps that were labeled Dreamer maps. Somewhere along the line, they got renamed. And they're they're not longer labeled Greenway maps. <laughs> so I, but they're the same. They're, they're the same but different. Being that when the Greenway maps were originally done, they were done with a consultant, and then they went over to Scrob. And I don't know for maybe for consistency with other people. I don't I don't know what happened. So is there a link on the town's website to the current Greenway? Yes, there is. Okay, to the current. To the, the current trail maps. Okay. Which we, you will see will correspond by name, you know, this, you know, this point to this point with what we've talked about in these topics. In fact, I, you know, I have them with me. I mean, they're all, you know, if you want to take a quick look after we close. Bishop Estate East and Darling House Trails. So they're they're close. They're not exactly the same. Bishop West Trails. They're just renamed for some reason. So you can take <coughs> names of through. Okay. Um, so um, and I think you know I was going through the, what we need to do to verify the existing information, discuss the numbering scheme and the format, and discuss the extensions and include that information. So I, I'll just throw it out there. I'm getting sure what what I thought might be the path forward is for us to take the, the start with the existing sections to get that done because I think that the extensions you know need to go back and think about the, you know are there alternatives or you know um, but to begin with, take the existing sections and split them up among us. And say, and the way it would work out is everybody would take two sections. And then the idea would be, and I have a little list and I can send it out after the meeting, but you know, review it for common sense, review it for wording, typos, um, obvious things that don't need to be there anymore, things that should be possibly added, um, you know, not, not trying to make this a long exercise and debate what should be there or not, but at least clean it up, you know, get everybody do their edits, but shared work, and then we can, you know, figure out if you want to send me suggestions and I can incorporate them and then we'll just walk it through the next meeting and say, each person can go through their section and say, hey, this is what I thought made sense and let everybody make sure that we have consensus around those and just try to get those put in shape. Now, the addition of some of the historical information, that can be added. So, it's going to be a living document that we can add to that later. I'm not looking to complete necessarily points of interest at this point, unless you know them, unless somebody, you, know, you happen to know that this is there. Mm -hmm. And that would make sense. Um, you know, another thing I put down here. You know, I, I put down a section for access. Is there parking or not? So it might require you to take a drive by either end and say, is there parking? What kind of parking? Is it street parking? Is there parking lot? Any other notes? You know, so just to verify that. Um, the ownership, um, I've done my best with the, the, uh, the I should say the protection rather than you know, so, so let me take that back. The protection I've done my best on, but it's something that you can also research on the town website and, and see, you know, make sure that that's correct. Uh, that would be the most time-consuming part of probably part of this. 
Where, where would we find that information in terms of its well, protection? That, that would be GIS system, um, and you can. I sent out uh, that was a couple ago. I gave out the instructions. That was our homework, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, I, with half a mind, I thought maybe we get to it today to at least bring one up. But you could, if you look at that website, Paul, the GIS website, you, you pull information. Uh, basically, the overview of the property and it tells you who owns it uh, and then if you pull the book and the page number you can go over to the town's land records and you can verify if there are any easements or you can look through um, so that would be a little time consuming and, and maybe not completely necessary unless we Unless you have a question, did I? Unless you have a question of did I get it right? I mean, some things are obvious. Fitzgerald, no, that's town property. Mm -hmm. uh, I will have questions. You'll see terminology that grants and aid, and I still need to run down exactly what that means, and, uh, and I will do that. Um, well, you, you can offer an additional appraisal to the site to find out. Valley Nissen, I'm sorry, would you repeat that? Uh, vision appraisal? Yes, yeah. that can also... That's on the GIS. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. So, uh, the objective is to try to find ways for connection and also that's not, no, that would no be the trail no. master to do. The that. objective of you know going away after tonight and you know splitting up the, the document, if you will, having each of you work on two sections is to, to try to do a little editing on those two sections to make sure it's written clearly, that it contains pertinent information. And I will send out a list after the meeting. I'm trying to save them now so that I don't surprise you with <coughs> You know, suggested notes if you have suggested notes, and then maybe further actions that we need to take on the section. So I'll, I'll, I'll summarize that and send it out. So, what I'd like to do is suggest I um, we can assign these at random. Yeah. And I have a way to do that. And, and then we'll assign it not so random for Diana and. <laughs> um, so I, I'm going to just go around the room and you pick a number between 1 and 6 for inclusive 1 to 6 and so Val, Valerie I'm going to start with you pick a number between 1 and 6 just any number or the tying any, the any, any no no just a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or oh. 6 because okay. uh, I've got to, I'm going to do it not not based upon what's in the document. Because okay. I'm going to tell you, my that number corresponds to two sections. Okay. It will be your assignment. Okay, I'll say three. Okay. I was going to take three. Just that over there, Paul. <laughs> Paul. Uh, five. Okay. Okay. Uh, two. One. Anybody want to uh, pick a number for uh, Sharon? Four or six? Who wants to throw Sharon under the bus for one of those? Six. Six? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you your sections. Mm -hmm. um, Sharon and um, Diana. Okay, so. Um, Barbara, I'm going to pick number one, sections six and seven.
sections 10 and 11. So I'll send out again a, a <coughs> suggestion of the things you might want to do when you're looking through trying to edit it. Um, what, what makes sense to everybody? You want to send? Where is six? I go from five to seven. Thank you. In the document? Mm hmm Page blank to page blank. Section five. Oh, section. I don't know. My my copy you got section five and section six. So is it off. public entry across from Seymour Road? Is that the section? Seymour Road to the lodge, and then lodge to Milford Meadows. Seymour Road to lodge is five, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, I don't have that thing in between there. Okay. Well, I'm because it would be it would be it would have to be on its own. So I don't. Okay. Here, you I can won't. look at mine quickly. I won't. Not to. And then you can see what it might look like. <coughs> um, so what are people's thoughts? You each go through here. Oh. You want to um, oh. make a list of. Suggested edits and then send them back to me, and I'll incorporate them in. Um, when's our due date? Mm -hmm. Well, that that was the next question. Is, I mean, we have a meeting in two weeks. And I'd like to put time on the calendar for some type of discussion on the Greenway extensions. In two weeks give everybody enough time to go through two sections. And, mm -hmm. I mean, well. I guess what, what we you can do it in other ways. You can send me the, the changes you think are right, and I can try to type them up and share them. Or you can you know, if you write them on paper. It's a little harder to share with everybody and discuss. So thoughts? You want to send me the changes? Mm -hmm. Can once. you send us this document in, you know, as a Word document? We'll do draft I, changes. I can. I can send you your sections. Okay. That, that way you can see what our changes are. Yeah. I like that. Send it to me with your map, okay? Yeah, I'll work on that. You heard me? Uh, Mine's Mac. Mac. I don't know, my printers are skipped it. Skip the <coughs> section, I don't have okay. to do it. Um, all right, and then we'll try to review those sections next time. I will work on the um, introductory section for that. Um, it's probably called that the protection types. And you may have had a second thought about so we keep consistent with the plan of conservation and development. At least in terminology of the types of protections, protection categories, I should say. Um, okay. What else on Greenway extensions? We're getting close to wrapping up here. Just something that I thought of in, in the future. Yeah. Um, the whole west side of Woodbridge is the pipeline. It's a wonderful corridor. Oh, it is a wonderful corridor. And can be used and walked on. The challenge is, in my mind, and I haven't researched it a lot, I just know casually, the pipeline passes through a lot of private land. Indeed. So that you, you know, would we'll, we'll need to get the same types of easements you would get for just putting it. People, you know, didn't probably mind the pipeline who gave the rights for the easement to the pipeline because it's underground. They got some cash, and they don't see it. Hopefully, they never smell it. You know? um, and so it's it doesn't exist anymore. They just got some money out of it. Oh, well, it exists. They keep it cleared. Well, they keep it cleared, right? But. 
Presumably. You may disappear it's up in the back of the woods and, you know, or, you know, goes along the side of the yard and, you know, pay much attention to it. So, but if I got people walking there in my side yard, I, I, you know, we would face some challenges. I think we have some work to do yeah. um, as a commission and maybe as residents towns that have multi-use trails it actually improves property values and so I understand people might be squeamish yeah. but then maybe we need to talk up more some of the benefits yeah. I think that one of the points we previously made is to try to get the pipeline on the map which it is on this one well it's on that one does that go through Homewood Acres does it go that not to down no. that far no. no it goes Straight up the back of North of Road. Okay. okay I'm, I'm trying to get this map. Up, up Peck Hill and crosses over and eventually goes across Seymour and up in up across, I guess it's now called Newton Road. It used to be called Round Hill. Mm -hmm. And goes across the mountain. Keeps on going. Okay. But that whole west side, or not the whole west side, but it's up to the point that it turns on on Peck Hill Road. Pretty much all the way down behind Baldwin, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the reason I brought it up is maybe it would be an opportunity to be able to connect uh, like Massaro Farm to that to that side of town down to uh, Homewood, uh, Homewood Acres. I, I didn't know whether it went that way or it went oh, over to, to, to is Derby. On, it's on Racebook, right? Right, yes. Yeah. Well, that's a little, yeah. Okay. Anything, any other points anybody wants to make on the Greenway extensions? Seems like there's some low hanging fruit and some other ones that are a bit of a stretch. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think there's a few tiers we could bring back in. So I, I'm gonna start to socialize this a little bit. Um, the, the Greenway establishment of the Greenway was, was sent up to the state as a collaboration between the Conservation Commission, which has you know, really generated the bulk of it from what I can tell, the open space plan, and, and that's it's incorporated. There. But, <coughs> but a collaboration with the land trust and the park association. So I want want to let them know that we're updating it. I'm going to do that, and um, and, and get some thoughts if they have it. And, um, Sorry. <laughs> and then I'll, uh, I'm talking to uh, Betsy Yaga in town, uh, who runs a. A small trails group as a coordination between those organizations with the trail master. The trail master needs to be brought into this too. So I'll start that socialization <coughs> um, and get any thoughts they have. Uh, and that's about it. We'll take, take the next step next. I'm time. sorry, I have a question. Oh. No. Uh, when you're looking at a trail, is it more beneficial for it to be, let's say, scenic, or are we looking for? easy ease of use <coughs> what would a trail wh what are we looking for exactly i mean would you rather be on fountain road walking or would you rather be on greenery what what is it that we're well um so you've asked really two different questions there's a we, we'd like to minimize road walks i think as paul said before so wherever we can it's best to be off road and that's in partly the experience and partly the, the uh, safety of it. Um, the, the ease of use versus scenic, those types of considerations, I think there's room for both <coughs> and all of those. I, I think there was, there would, there was um, interest expressed if we could make accessible, partly accessible trails around town, which would be great has to be the right situation, the right piece of property, because we know what our tr geography is here. So, you know, have, you know, but if the situation presented itself, I, I think an accessible, easy to use trail is, is a good thing. Um, but I, I, you know, I, one of the prime motivator for us is 
you know, if, if we're trying to complete a greenway, it's we'll take what we got. Sometimes you're walking over on boardwalks over wetlands because you have to, and sometimes you get some real nice woods like uh, back of the Bishop Estate West. That's some of the prettiest walking I've done in town up there. That I been here a while and, and never knew about that until one day about three four years ago I walked it so you know it's a little mushy answer to you but I mean you know it just it depends what's available all, all things can be appropriate mm -hmm. okay. all right mm -hmm. I think uh, if there's nothing further we will have a motion to adjourn I make a motion to adjourn I suck at that and so we will adjourn at 8.29. Thank you all very much.